Good morning, y'all. It's been a long weekend for me, but I wanted to get on to do a few things, give you guys a few updates. Uh, one being, I have to first say thank you to one of uh, my sisters in the body of Christ and who also follows me um, on, you know, social media pages. She came to me, and I will not name your name, but she did come up to me, and she just, she encouraged me by, um, seeing how much she has been impacted <clears throat> by the content that you know God has been giving me to share and it just encouraged me so I want to say thank you girl because a lot of times we take this step of faith and the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight and it's not until later when you when you begin to see the manifestation of um, what God said when you have people that can speak to um, what they experienced from what you put out and so I'm just grateful that you even said something to me about um, how it's helping to even you know recalibrate your your mind and how you're approaching things in parenting as a wife all of that so I'm I'm so grateful for you for sharing that um, and so how to get that out the way the other thing is I want to share that I, if you don't know, I am a certified family life educator, which you should know that by now. Um, <laughs> but something new that I am doing is that I'm offering family counseling, family, not counseling, family coaching, family life coaching. I'm also offering postpartum doula services and just the overall well-being of the family. If there's a need that you have, there's a concern that you have, I am going to be your resource. So if you need me, I'm here. Uh, click my the link in my bio I think is there where it should give you it should send you right to my website or send you to um, some portion of the website for you to get more information but um, yeah I think that was that part okay so we got those two things we got one more thing y'all the other thing is so I'm talking to my husband this morning and you know we're going through a transition right now with me pursuing um you know, this whole entrepreneur side of me um, that I've never, this whole business side, never experienced before. This is something totally new for the both of us, but we're experiencing it together. And so you guys know, like it can be really frustrating. It can be very um, taxing, not just on finances, but it can be very taxing on your relationships, right? Especially if people are not in tuned or in your corner or are not aligned with where you're going, it can make it very taxing. And so I asked him, I said, how is it that you're that you're not frustrated during this period of transition for us? Like how is it that you're you're not discouraged? It's like you're I don't know why I expected the worst. And that really that speaks to my character. Okay, that speaks to some flaws I got expecting the worst. Um and Lord you gotta help me with that because that's sad. Okay, should not be expecting the worst. But I just the way that my husband has been taking on um just the support y'all it's so important to have people in your corner that can push you and that may not understand the ins and the outs but they trust the god in you enough and trust what god showed them enough to hold on to a word right but a lot of times we get prophetic words or we get we get the utterances or whatever the case may be we get these words that are from god and god gives us just that the word and then he gives you the word and then takes you through this long, extensive process. But if you had known the process, you probably would have been like, I don't want that word, right? And so he gets you, yes, and gets your commitment. And then he says, all right, well, now that I know that I got your yes, let me take you through a test. So that's the season that we're in right now. And so I just want to encourage y'all that if y'all don't have people in your corner that can support where you're going and who God has called for you to be and that don't that don't judge you but that are literally there to be a resource to you and can hold it down if you don't have that you need to be praying and asking God to reveal those people to you so that you can remove anyone that is in your way that does not need to be there and you can make room and make space for those that have the capacity for where you're going it's so important to have people around you that have the capacity for where you're going you got to have them it's necessary it's necessary and so i'm just grateful to the man of god okay because listen 
life is life, right? But we put our hope and our faith in Jesus because he is our firm foundation. That's just what it is. So I uh, had to get all of that out. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll be putting up some more videos this week. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but I really do hope and pray that you guys have a great day. So let's pray before we go, okay? Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for being so good, so merciful, and so kind. Lord, you are awesome and magnificent. Lord, you're perfect in all of your ways. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we lift you up. Lord, we magnify your name. Lord, you are awesome. You are magnificent. Lord, you're so consistent and you're kind. God, we're just so grateful today, God, that you're so compassionate, God, and that you fail not. Lord, your, your mercies are new every morning. Lord, you're so faithful. And Lord, we just, we're, we're grateful, God, that we have a father. We have our father, God. We have you to, to, to get supply our needs, God. According to your riches and glory, Lord, we have you, God, to be what we need before we even know that we need it. God, you are just so good. And we're grateful for that. Lord, before we go through this day, Lord, we present this day back to you, and we say, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord, give us this day our daily bread, God, forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, and Lord, lead us not into temptation, but Lord, deliver us from evil, transform our minds, transform our spirits, God, forgive us for anything that we may have done or said that was not pleasing in your sight, Lord, we want you to be pleased with who we are, with who we are becoming, and so Lord, we have to present our plan and our will to you God and we want to be in alignment with you so Lord we surrender it we give it back to you we submit to your will your way your plan for you know all things and you do all things well God we thank you in advance for how you're going to move in this day we thank you in advance for how you're going to pull us through God for how you're going to reveal yourself to us God we open up our hearts our minds our bodies and our spirits to receive from you God we seek you first God in every Thing and in all things. Lord, we turn from our wicked ways, God, and we acknowledge you in all of our ways, Lord, in expectation for how you're going to direct our paths. For your word declares that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And so, Lord, we trust in you with all of our heart, and we lean not to our own understanding. And Lord, we just say that we need you to have your way. Have your way in our hearts. Have your way in our minds. Have your way in our spirits. God, have your way in our children. Have your way in our husbands. Have your way in our in, in our spouses. God, have your way on our jobs, in the schoolhouses. God, keep us from accidents and incidents. Guys, you just be God. God, you show yourself mighty and strong and will forever give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. Bye.